Hi guys and welcome back to another video about Deeper Networks. So we're going to go through the Polkadot.js extension which you can install for Brave and Chrome and Fire, Firefox as well. So what this allows you to do is basically interact with the main net. Now it's really useful because the main net you can move DPR around between devices. It's all on one page as you can see here. I've got DPR in each device and I can just move it around from device to device. I don't have to log on to different devices, I don't have to connect to them, I can just do it. It's also essential to install this if you want to use the bridge. So if you want to withdraw DPR and send it to your wallet or an exchange, MetaMask as well, um, this is essential to do that because you need, your browser needs to be able to speak to the bridge site. You can also vote. Uh, the council is live and i'm in it and you can vote on who you want to be in it you can put a proposal through and you you need to have the extension installed in order to log into the main net which is where we are now so you might as well get this done as soon as you can uh, you can also do a few other things as well like you can increase your stake or at least you used to be able to i hope that'll be coming back soon and this basically allows you to um, administer your devices remotely so you don't have to log into them they could be some somewhere else it's fine you can also cash out your NPOW rewards if you're part of the NPOW test group uh, you don't need to log into your device and click the withdrawal button you can just do it from here and it goes straight to your wallet on the device and you can then transfer your, your DPR from all of the devices to one device and then use the bridge to basically transfer all of that DPR out. So it just speeds things up. Um, a lot of people on the Discord have been saying how do I use the bridge? How do I install this thing? And if you don't know how, well, we're going to do it now. So we need to install the polkadot.js extension. It's really not that hard, it's pretty easy. We're going to use Brave. Now Brave is a good browser. It is a Chrome based one. So if you have Chrome, the steps are exactly the same. Firefox, it's pretty much the same as well. It's all roughly the same. So up here you've got your extensions. You can see that I don't have the extension installed. I actually do have it installed in Chrome, but we'll uh, just do it on Brave. So this is the official site for the deeper chain. This is the, the, the guide on how to use the bridge. And in part two, it gives you a little bit of a rundown on how to install it. It's really easy to, to, be, to be fair and once you do it once it's done so click on the link uh, the link for the extension will be in the description below you can see you've got two types you've got Firefox and you've got Chrome so Chrome uh, is the same browser uh, as Chromium, Opera and Brave and Chrome so click on whatever browser type you have and just make sure it's the correct one so polka dot dot extension .js extension 500,000 users I'm not sure if there's any fakes in the store you'd like to think there isn't and then you can just click on add to brave or add to chrome or add to firefox whatever and then press accept and it'll install and you can see there that it's been installed and if we now click on it we have to we have to go through like an initial setup so this only takes two seconds really easy let's go through it so add account so we need to add the account now what you do is click on the plus and go to import account from pre-existing seed your pre-existing seed is your memory words for one of your accounts okay so your D deeper chain wallet memory words you can use those or you can just use the private key which is what I'm going to do now so I'm going to navigate to where my key is stored because when you set a device up, it, uh, you can actually download the key. So just paste that in and then press OK. And then we need to put a password in and a description. So we'll call that minor one. I don't know which device it actually is. I just picked a random key. And we'll put a password in and confirm it. And that's it. Done. That is pretty much it. So now if we open up a new tab, we can go to 
the deeper chain main net the link for this will be in the description as well and they, there we have it so minor one and it's been installed through the extension you can see that we've got 77 dpr in the actual wallet but it says we have a total of 1367 that's because a lot of it is locked because I use it to uh, vote. If we need to add more than one device, we've got to add account and go raw seed. Now delete that because that's not any seed that we need to know. And then just copy and paste another deeper key which you download from your device, from your wallet man management page. Just paste that in. Give it a name, whatever you want. Minor 2, if it is your second minor. And then put a password in so you can use that to transact and then click add so now we have it tries to down, to save these little keys you don't need them but as long as you've got your actual deeper key it's fine so now we have two so minor one and minor two you can see I saw one through the extension if we go back to the extension itself you can see minor one and that's why it, it why it says extension after it and yeah different things blah 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 and minor two, you can see there, it's not got the extension because I haven't installed it using the extension. I've just put it in through the through the uh, de deeper chain key. So let's have a look at transferring money. So if we go to send, and I want to transfer it from minor two to minor one, and we'll just do fifty DPR. And this is how easy it is. And then just put the password in, which you entered when you added it to the main net. And it's done. You've just transferred D DPR tokens from one device to, to, to another without logging into any of them. Okay, now one caveat of this is that you do actually need to be connected to a device, any device, in order to access this. Because um, if you have one on your house, then you can just do it. But you do need to go through a deeper device so as long as you've got one then it's fine okay so final thoughts uh well there's not really much to think about i mean it is required you if you need if, you know if you want to withdraw your hard-earned dpr tokens and you want to cash it out maybe the token price goes really high and you want to cash it out well you will need to do this in order to do that or you could sell them third party but i wouldn't rec recommend it and in the future you have other ways i mean they'll be adding more utility to the whole thing so the main net for example you can't increase your stake but you used to be able to i would like to think that they would bring that back so you can pretty much if you can do that you can manage as many devices as you have remotely without being anywhere near near them so you can increase your stake you can move dpr you can unstake, you can withdraw your NPOW DPR as well. You can do that now. And you'll basically have like a hands-off experience. So yeah, um, that is how you install it. That's how you get it done. I'll do a couple of videos on things that you can do inside of the main net as well. So how to release your NPOW rewards back to your wallet and how to unstake maybe i don't really want to unstake any of my uh devices and that's it so thanks for watching guys and i will see you on the weekly roundup on sunday thanks a lot bye bye